Genuine leaps in aviation are rare. In a market dominated by a few major manufacturers, each new aircraft generation usually delivers only incremental gains from 1 to 2%, just enough to stay competitive but rarely transformative. Boeing, however, has repeatedly broken this mold. From the 707 which launched America's commercial jet age to the legendary 747 which redefined capacity and scale, the company has consistently reshaped air travel. Now with the 777X the largest twin-engine wide-body aircraft ever built, Boeing aims to continue that legacy. So why is it considered Boeing's next major breakthrough? What gives the 777X the power to dominate its segment? Let's dive in. From the moment Boeing announced the 777X program in November 2013, the aviation world recognized that this was more than just a new aircraft. It represented an effort to completely redefine the design philosophy of a wide-body twin-engine airplane, a leap forward the industry had been anticipating for decades. The program introduced two variants, the 777-8 and Dash 9. The Dash 8 carries 395 passengers with a range of 8 745 nautical miles, while the larger variant Dash 9 accommodates 426 passengers with a range exceeding 7 285 nautical miles. Even on their own, these figures position the aircraft as a highly competitive aircraft. Yet the true appeal of this line lies not merely in its specifications, but in the deep engineering philosophy behind it. For many years, traditional twin-engine aircraft were constrained by a narrow operating window. To achieve long-range capabilities and high passenger capacity, engineers had to enlarge the wings which increased weight and drag and required larger airports for parking and operations. In contrast, four-engine competitors like the Airbus A380 could carry more passengers but at the cost of lower fuel efficiency and limited commercial flexibility. Boeing realized that overcoming these challenges required a radical solution, an aircraft redesigned from the ground up with optimized materials, geometry, and engines to maximize both performance and operational versatility. This is why the groundbreaking design of the 777X was born. The first highlight is its composite wing. Stretching 71.5 meters in, from folding tip to folding tip, the wing area is 15% larger than previous 777 models, expanding from approximately 42 square meters to 517 square meters. But the change is not just in size, the materials have been completely overhauled. While earlier variants used traditional aluminum alloys, the 777X employs carbon fiber reinforced polymer composites following the structural strategy proven on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Composites are not only significantly lighter than aluminum, but also maintain equivalent structural strength. This allows engineers to extend the wingspan without adding weight, thereby improving the wingspan to chord ratio from 9-1 to 10-1, which enhances aerodynamic efficiency, reduces drag, and saves fuel at cruising altitude. Boeing further refined the wing design based on the philosophy of the 787, reducing the sweep angle to increase the lift-to-drag ratio, enabling the aircraft to fly more efficiently while maintaining stability in all conditions. Fuel capacity was also increased from 320, 863 pounds to 350, 410 pounds, allowing the plane to undertake longer journeys and providing greater operational flexibility. This represents a perfect combination of advanced materials, optimized geometry, and enhanced fuel storage, all designed to reduce fuel consumption while maintaining impressive passenger capacity and range. Besides, one of the most intriguing breakthroughs is the folding wingtips mechanism applied for the first time on a commercial aircraft. When the 777X takes off, the wingtips extend maximizing aerodynamic efficiency like a Code F aircraft. Upon landing or taxiing below 50 knots, the wingtips automatically fold upward, reducing the wingspan by about 7 meters in just 20 seconds, keeping the aircraft compatible with Code E airports. This cleverly solves the problem faced by the Airbus A380, whose 80-meter wingspan prevents it from using many Code E airports. The 777X manages to combine large wings for efficient flight with a compact footprint on the ground significantly expanding commercial operational flexibility without requiring changes to existing airport infrastructure. Not only the wings, but the GE9X engine from General Electric also represents a true technical revolution. GE invested over $2 billion into this colossal engine, putting it through 8,000 test cycles and 5,000 hours of operation before earning FAA certification on September 28, 2020. The size of the GE9X is striking the fan diameter measures 134 inches larger than the fuselage of a Boeing 737 with an overall diameter of 184 inches. 
16 composite fan blades replace the 22 blades of the GE90 reducing drag and increasing efficiency. The overall pressure ratio reaches 61.1 far higher than the GE90's 41 creating hotter and more efficient combustion allowing the engine to achieve thrust levels from 93,000 to 110,000 pounds. Testing even reached 134 300 pounds setting a world record in 2017. This is a clear testament to the GE9X's extraordinary technical power. The ultimate goal remains fuel efficiency and environmental protection. The GE9X improves fuel consumption by about 10% compared to the GE9-115B, saving nearly 3,000 tons of fuel and 9,500 tons of carbon dioxide annually per aircraft. Emissions of nitrogen oxides and other gases are reduced to roughly half of current regulatory limits. Its 10-1 bypass ratio enhances thrust efficiency while reducing noise. Advanced materials such as fourth-generation composite fan blades with higher epoxy content and 3D printed components reduce weight, optimize airflow, and increase durability to unprecedented levels, enabling aerodynamic shapes that traditional manufacturing methods cannot achieve. Combined with the longer fuselage and composite wings, total fuel efficiency gains reach 12 to 13 percent. On a per-seat basis, thanks to a 10 abreast seating layout, fuel consumption drops by roughly 20 percent compared to the 777-300ER. The passenger cabin has also been significantly upgraded. Economy seats are 18 inches wide. Windows can change tint like those on the 787 cabin. Humidity is higher, pressure is lower, and sound insulation is improved, delivering a more comfortable and modern flying experience. On January 25th, 2020, the first 777-9 took to the skies marking the start of a challenging flight test program. The testing accumulated over 4,000 flight hours in a wide range of climates and terrains from scorching deserts to freezing polar regions. By 2025, the FAA had advanced the program to stage three of the certification process, paving the way for its upcoming commercial service. However, technical success did not guarantee a smooth path. The first flight with the GE9X, originally scheduled for February 2018, was immediately delayed due to serious issues with the high-pressure compressor and component durability. Engineers discovered that the stator vanes in the second stage of the 11-stage high-pressure compressor degraded faster than expected, exhaust gas temperatures exceeded design limits, and components failed prematurely. GE had to recall four of the eight production-compliant engines for a complete redesign. Ted Engling, GE9X program manager, emphasized, it's better to discover this in the factory than in the field. The high-pressure compressor redesign pushed the engine certification to fall 2019, which in turn delayed the first flight of the 777X from late 2019 to January 2020. The first 777-9 finally took to the skies on January 25, 2020, flying 3 hours and 52 minutes before landing at Boeing Field marking the start of a highly challenging test program. Yet the challenges did not stop there. By November 20, 2022, Boeing had to halt test flights of the 777-9 after a new issue surfaced in the GE9X during a borescope inspection of the combustion chamber. The affected engine had the highest operating hours over 1,700 hours and more than 2,600 flight cycles. GE confirmed that during one test run, a temperature warning was triggered and the engine was safely shut down. Boeing stated it would work closely with GE to assess the issue and resume testing only once the evaluation was complete. Emirates' president, Tim Clark, voiced concern about the program's continuity. We are waiting to see if the engines are truly ready or if this is a systemic design issue that affects the entire test program. After addressing the combustion chamber issue, flight testing resumed in 2024, but trouble continued. In August 2024, Boeing grounded the entire 777X test fleet after a thrust link fractured on the third 777-9 test aircraft, WH-003, following a 5-hour, 31-minute flight from Kona, Hawaii. Subsequent inspections on other test aircraft revealed multiple cracks in the thrust link structure, prompting a full suspension of the test fleet. Thrust links are heavy titanium components that transmit engine forces from the GE9X to the wing structure. Each engine has two redundant links, but unintended vibrations caused cracking posing serious safety risks. The maker had to completely redesign the thrust links, implement temporary fixes, and conduct extensive ground testing before resuming flight tests in mid-January 2025. Aviation Week reported that the final version of the redesigned thrust link would be installed in the summer of 2025 as part of a broader upgrade package. These setbacks highlight not only the complexity of modern technology, but also the enormous risks involved in developing a new aircraft at the scale of the 777X. 
As of the end of 2025, total orders reached 565 units from 12 customers, led by Emirates, Qatar Airways, and Lufthansa. Airlines expect the 777X to combine nearly Airbus A380 level passenger capacity with the operational efficiency of a twin-engine aircraft. When it enters service in 2027, the aircraft is projected to set a new benchmark for next-generation wide-body aircraft. But the road to achieving this is a race against both time and technology. Every engine or component issue delays progress, increases costs, and places enormous pressure on engineers. The total additional costs for the 777X program have exceeded $15 billion, with significant losses reported in Boeing's Q3 2025 financials, largely related to delays and issue mitigation. Boeing must carefully balance schedule safety performance and customer expectations, a problem of unprecedented complexity in the history of commercial aviation. In this context, the 777X is a testament to engineering daring resilience under pressure and the ambition to achieve a true breakthrough in aviation. Every detail from the GE9X engine's composite wings folding wingtips to thousands of hours of flight testing demonstrates that Boeing is rewriting the rules of the game. At the same time, any flaw has the potential to slow this progress and keep the entire aviation world on edge. The financial impact of the 777X delays has been profound. Boeing's third quarter of 2025 report revealed a net loss of $5.3 billion with adjusted losses per share of $7.47, nearly 94% worse than analyst expectations of $3.85. The main driver was a one-time charge of $4.9 billion directly tied to certification delays. CEO Kelly Ortberg explained that recognizing the expense immediately would prevent similar disruptions in future quarters. Currently, the program remains in what Boeing terms a reach-forward loss phase, meaning development costs on the first 500 aircraft will not be recovered. Total spending on the 777X has now exceeded $15 billion, an enormous overrun compared to original projections. Initially scheduled for entry into service in 2020 with an unofficial target of December 20th, 19 deliveries have now slipped to 2027, a full seven years behind plan. Top customers are feeling the pressure. Emirates leads with 270 aircraft on order, Qatar Airways holds 124, and Lufthansa is expected to be the first to receive certified planes. These delays have forced airlines to extend the service life of older aircraft revised fleet schedules and restructure operations directly affecting both efficiency and financial performance. As of now, Boeing has produced 26 777X aircraft 4 in active testing and 22 in storage at the Seattle facility awaiting certification. Although the GE9X engines were FAA certified in September 2020 after completing 8,000 cycles and 5,000 hours, they continue to present technical challenges forcing repeated redesigns, additional testing, and pauses in flight operations. The test fleet has logged over 1,200 flights and 3,500 flight hours across extreme conditions, yet each new issue triggers further FAA scrutiny supplier audits and validation procedures. These setbacks not only inflate costs and extend timelines, but also raise serious questions about the program's commercial viability. With every technical hurdle, Boeing must adapt its strategies, implement engineering solutions, and prepare for a prolonged, costly, and highly complex path to full certification, a journey far more challenging than originally envisioned. So do you think the 777X truly represents a technological leap for Boeing, or is it just a series of complications? Thank you for joining us and wishing you safe and enjoyable flights.